day, guys. Long time no see, huh? I'm just trudging through some heavy snow right now. So I know for a fact that this camera this thing, it's not gonna be fun to look at, but I gotta film an intro somehow, you know? Work through the, through the difficulties to make it great. I mean, I mean, check this out. That's some deep snow, man. Whoa, whoa. Almost lost. Ow. Almost lost my phone. But good thing I got the hands of moss out here. It's like I got stick them on my fingies. So yeah, anyway, I'm going ice fishing on a golf course. Um, it's one of my favorite ice fishing spots. So I thought I might as well come out here on the first one. The first ice fishing trip. You heard? Um, yeah, well we made it to the pond. Oh yeah, there's fish here. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, slay some fish and make a good video for you guys. You can stay tuned. Okay. Um, so this is how we're gonna do it. Oh. Get off. Okay. We'll take this off. Expose the death machine. Here we go. Knock, knock, mother fishers, I'm coming in! <laughs> Boom. That's what we got to fish with. Next step, get all this stupid ice out of the hole. Sorry? Focus, okay. Get all this stupid excess ice out. Boom. Now we're gonna put up the best tool of the day. The little squat, pop a squat machine right there. That's what I like to call those. And now we get our, our, our fishing pole. Um, what I got on tied on right now is a, uh, it's a Swedish pimple, a Swedish pimple. You know, uh, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good lure. One of the best out there, I'd say. Fishing on a Berkeley lightning rod uh, with a 13 fishing uh, wicked ice spinning reel. We're fishing in the hole, in the hole, in the ice. It gets pretty boring, but when you catch one, it sure does feel nice. Fish. Oh yeah. It's about four minutes in, three minutes in. Good little bluegill. There's that little, little nice bluegill there. You see it. Yup, yup. We're gonna release this bad boy. Oops, sorry, sir. Oh, that was so out of focus. I'm sorry, fans. I shouldn't be doing that to you. But anyway, yeah, the worst part about ice fishing is uh, if you forget gloves like myself, um, the fish are about 34 degrees and um, your hands get cold pretty fast. Now, um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm letting the line, or I'm letting the bait fall down uh, all the way to the bottom until your uh, line is totally slacked and then you reel it up till it's taut and then you reel it up eh, oh around six inches off the bottom and then you're golden you should uh, catch every fish in the lake pretty much I'm getting action Oi! 
There was a fish. Fish. Yeah. Another bluegill. There's that one. Fish number two. Woot woot. Boom. I think I blocked that one completely, but maybe not. I can't tell. Ah. Uh, the hands are getting tired, let me tell you. They're not tired. What am I saying tired for? They're getting cold. I'm um, just to run back what I'm in what I'm using, in case you forget. A little Swedish pimple with the uh chartreuse tag. Uh I think it's about four to six pound ice fishing line. Uh Berkeley ice, I believe. Uh, I have the Berkeley lightning rod with a 13 fishing wicked spinning reel. That's probably what I'll be using all day today. Uh, because that's uh, I've been getting quite a few bites so far. I hope to get a bass. That's my goal. It's easy to catch bluegill on the ice, but sometimes bass can really throw you for a loop. This is a bass, I believe. I don't think it's too big, but... Oh! Oh! Oh, a perch! I didn't know they had perch in here. Oh, maybe I did, actually, but... I forgot they had perch in this bee! What a deal! Oh, yeah! You want to hurt me, don't you? Oh, he just clobbered this thing. Yo, you're gonna... You're gonna make me mad, sir! Open your mouth, dog! Open your mouth, dog. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope I have pliers. Bag secured. Fish unhooked. All right, buddy. And he's off. Success. Boom. All right. So species number two is a good old fashioned perch. Yeah, my hands are really starting to get cold now, folks. Yeah, you'd you'd think that you come out here in the frozen weather. There's six inches of ice on the on the pond. You'd think the average human, or every human for that matter, would bring a little glove to put on their hands. Like on a test, you'd say, "What would what would a guy bring? A flamethrower?" A carrot, a pair of gloves, or a basketball, you're going to answer a pair of gloves. But I did none of the above. You know what I'm saying? Next time, I'll pick C. Don't worry about it. Hopefully, anyway. Fish. Now that feels like a bass. It is a bass. A tiny bass. Okay, buddy. Chill, 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 chill. I want to get this over with. Got to get this over with. Got to get this over with. Chill, 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 bro. Boom. Oh! Sorry, man. That's on me, fam. Oh. <coughs> It's just fish after fish after fish hurt my hands more and more, folks. This is, ah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'll catch you when I catch another fish. Um, my hands are cold very cold so that means my phone's cold uh so i'm gonna have to pause this video at this point uh the next time you'll i'll put the camera on is if i catch another fish or i get cold and go home um but i'll be back on the cam so don't worry the video is not over uh you don't have to cry just yet um but yeah stay tuned check out that cute little guy Fish number five, second LMB of the day. Uh, they're pretty tiny, as you can tell. There he goes. <clears throat> yeah.
yeah, I'm catching a lot of fish. Deal with it. All right, folks. Um, said to turn off the camera last. Oh, I'd say it's been 15, 20 minutes max. Um, I caught one of the smallest bass that you've ever did see. So I was like, eh, I'll pass on that. We got a fish, folks. Oh, a nice bluegie. Get up up on you. What? What? Boom. That's a nice little bluegill there with its winter colors. You see? You see? Um. Yeah, another... There that goes. Another big thing that uh, I had to tell you was um, my hands are basically to the point of if I stay out here another 20 minutes, they might get frostbite. So, I'm just going to stay out here for a touch longer. I mean, I'm hammering fish. So the content's there. It's just another, another bluegill. The school of bluegills are back under me hole. Stop it. Cut it. Quit it. Knock it. You're done. Um, get a, oh my gosh. This is why I hate bluegill. Can't get the freaking hook out, man. Boom, boom, boom. There's the other bluegill. Sorry, man. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, sorry. I got you, I got you, I got you. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I got you, fam. There he goes. Ouchie. Ouchie, ouchie. I'm just going to stand here, pace a little bit, um, put my hands in my pockets um, so I can warm up. A little bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to catch one or two more fish. And then I'm going to get out of here. You heard? Um, yeah. Okay. Cool, do you know it hurt nobody? Cool, never hurt nobody. Let's get it back in there. Oh my gosh. I'm losing my mind. My hands hurt so bad, I'm losing my mind. And this, this next fish has to bite soon, or I'm gonna lose it. Come on, please. One more bite, one more bite. My hand is about to fall off. One more bite, please. Fish. What's this? Oh my, it's the biggest fish of the day. What a fish to end it on. No, 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 don't go down. Yeah, swim out of here. Yeah, woo, no, yeah. Woo. You've fallen victim to the pack attack. Suck it, fish. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Boom, look at that. Biggest fish of the day. Oh, about eh, nine incher. Sick, man. Look at that. Um, yeah, here we go. Get him right back into the water. And bang. <laughs> My hands are gonna, oh God. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I'll catch you at the car in the warmness um, because I can't do it out here no more. Oh my god, they're so cold.
But I had it caught up here. If um, any of you Southerners really want to come up and try ice fishing, uh, one word of advice. Actually, two. The two things you need when you go ice fishing, other than the fishing gear, obviously, is waterproof boots and gloves. If you don't have either of those two, you're going to have the worst time of your life. You might be catching fish, but you're going to be like, this sucks. Why does anyone do this? Well, most of them have waterproof boots and gloves. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, caught quite a few fish. Uh, surprise perch. Um, kind of forgot they were in there. Uh, but thank God they are. Uh, you know, more fish to catch, you heard? But anyway, I uh, had fun. Um, look forward to more content coming out soon. Uh, I know I did just take a break, but uh, up here where I live, uh, the ice was about an inch thick for uh, two months, maybe. It was just on off ice and it was, wasn't very safe, so I couldn't get out there. But uh, I think I might go ice fishing uh, tomorrow and the day after. So that's two more vids you got coming up lickety split. You know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I hope you, I also hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, leave it a like. Um, if you didn't, don't dislike it, please. Um, that'd be kind of rude. Just constructive criticism down in the comments is all I need. Um, yeah, also, if you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe. Uh, I got a couple more videos uh, planned out. I'm going ice fishing the next couple of days. So I'll have a lot of content for you guys. Um, so just, it's going to be rapid fire. It, it's going to take your shoes off. It's, it's going to be so exciting, you know. Um, but anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.